I hope you know that no matter who we elect, nobody can solve the spiritual problems of America. I hope you know this is not a Christian nation. I don't care whose statistics you use, this is pagan. We got a few names on our coins, but the name isn't in the heart of our people. And nobody can fix that until one heart at a time turns to Jesus Christ. Are we praying for world evangelization? Are we praying for God's will in the life of our nation? Are we praying for the salvation of our community? No, we're praying for God, fix my engrowed toenail. Give me more in my 401k. God, give me an easy life and bless my grandchildren. And we wonder why the church is making an impact in America. Self-centered materialism is the hallmark of the church of Jesus Christ in the 21st century in Western culture. You say, your humor is not here today. No, my humor is not here today. My humor is weeping over a broken church that doesn't even know she's broken. And a spiritual conflict that we're prepared for. It will just take up the challenge to be available. Or more easy to gripe on the way home than it is to get out of your comfort zone and be the Christian God called you to be Monday through Friday. I promise you American Christianity may be the weakest form the world has ever known. Now I think the most powerful messages that I know anything about come out of the practical section of the book of Ephesians. A capstone theology book from Paul written to many churches to prepare them for the coming conflict. He talked about that it is every individual Christian's personal, intentional, daily responsibility to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And when we are distracted by the color of carpet and the kind of translation and uh, on and on and on that we divide over, it's a spiritual disaster for the people of God. I submit to you that Christianity is a banquet table with everything to eat that it can be eaten there. And God says, come and eat to every individual Christian. And you don't need a guru or a, a Illuminati or a PhD, or a high IQ, or somebody else. The problem is, everything's available and God's people aren't coming to eat. There's nothing secret in the book. There's nothing that you have to, to, to search and search. I, for years of my life, I thought if I'm really, really good, God may give me more truth. God is sending all the truth He has. And God's people, for whatever reason, are not responding and receiving it. The problem is not the sender, the problem is the receiver. There is not a hunger today in America for the Word of God. It's almost like in academic circles where I function, that if the Bible says it, it's got to be untrue. That's almost the bias against spiritual things in our day. I do not know what to say. I do believe America is a spiritual person. I see it on the ads. I see it in the literature. I see it in the bestsellers. But for whatever reason, Americans by the hundreds of thousands have said, my search for spirituality is unaffected by a local Christian church. I hear people talk about Christianity on the news and I want to throw over my television set.